Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 5, Momentum. And this section is 5.E, Conservation of Momentum. Here you can read the scenario. Part B, you first of all, Part A is asking you to identify the system. There are two objects here. You have the three mass big container car and the M, which is the toy car, together looking at it as one system that would be the circle that represents the system of the truck and car now you're going to draw the situation the first situation i'm going to label the right as positive and up as positive so the small car is going to the left and when it's going left that means it's going in the negative velocity direction so it's going to be somewhere down here what is the mass well the mass is one so the mass is one and what was its velocity do they give us a velocity well let's say it's going five one two three four five Right, and it has one mass, so it has one mass, its velocity is five. So, this area, the area here, is resembled by the area is resembled by mass times velocity. So, this area is actually the momentum here. Now, we are going to do the big car, mass two. Mass 2 is bigger. So it's 1 mass, 2 mass, 3 mass. Now we want to find its velocity. And it says that they have identical speeds. So in magnitude. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. In this case, the... The area is mass times velocity. The mass is 3m or 3 and the velocity was 5. That was its momentum. So momentum here would be 15 uh, meters ta um, kilogram meter second. Here, please understand that this was area was equal to 1m times the velocity was 5 so the momentum was equal to 5 kilogram meter second what is the system's final momentum remember they collide and stick together before I give you the answer I want to talk about the types of collision first of all you have an elastic collision and in an elastic collision uh, they hit and they go off away from each other in an inelastic collision is when they stick together. Two objects stick together after colliding. So think about it. If it's elastic, it does it goes away from each other. If it's inelastic, it sticks together, right? In, get it? They um they're they're in together. That's how I memorize it. So here you go. The important part here is that thermal um, kinetic energy is lost in an inelastic collision, right? So here's some notes if you would like to read about it, okay? Please understand in a perfect inelastic collision, the momentum is conservative and kinetic energy is lost. So in this case, the momentum came together. This was positive. So this was positive, and then something was removed. What was removed was this much. Do you see how this was removed? Because it was negative, so you, we are going to take this much area away. So what do you have left? Well, you should have an area if you do the math, right? The this was ooh, I forgot one thing. This was a negative. Okay. 
this was a negative okay because this is the velocity here was negative all right so here the total was resembled by um, p total or the change in uh, the kinetic energy it went from 5 to 15 so the change was 10 all right 15 minus 5 was 10 and it's in the positive direction because this is a positive value so here which direction were they traveling after you could collide well this is positive so it's going to go to the right okay now i'm going to explain it in a little bit more detail I wrote that before the collision, the total momentum is directly to the right, the positive direction. And because there is no external force, the total momentum after the collision must be equal to the direction to the right. So the toy um, moving to the right after the collision. The reason why it moves to the right is because 15 minus 5 equals to 10. The momentum of the truck's momentum was bigger. The smaller car was smaller together it was a positive so once they stick together they move to the right okay it goes in the direction that has the positive value here we are now going to look the toy car and the truck are now pressed together they are released from rest diagram the momentum before and after the explosion as well as the energy before and and after all right the initial moment um, the initial system in this case is going to be zero I wrote that the system here will have no it will have the system's initial momentum will be zero the reason why it is zero is because the car's final mo um the car was where is it was in blue so the car was in blue and i'm going to give this 3 okay this is its mass times velocity the truck was in the op opposite direction so it was negative so it was 3 so this is a positive 3 This was a positive 3 and this is a negative 3. Together they make 0. This diagrams the momentum before and after the explosion because it says that the toy car and the trucks are now pressed together with an ideal spring compressing them together. This is the stuck together. Alright. And if they explode... There are one goes in the positive direction and one goes in the final direction. So now if you're wondering what is the initial energy and what is the work, please understand that it was, they are pressed together like an ideal spring right here. It says it right here. Pressed together with idea with a spring. So if they're pressed together on an idea spring, we have what? A spring potential. Is there kinetic energy? No. Is there gravitational potential? No, because there's no height. Is there any work done externally? No. Once they're stuck together, and again, they have no momentum, it's not moving, it's all spring potential. Now, they break apart, which is the final energy. Okay? The car is going to be here in blue. Let me make that blue so you could see that. So the car will have a what? Higher kinetic energy. And then we're going to have blue, which is going to be the... This is the red, which is going to be the... Okay, I just color coded. The red is the truck, the blue is the car. The reason why the blue has more kinetic energy 
is because it's moving with more energy in the end due to the, its Some of you might be wondering, wait, why is the truck's energy more? I thought it had more mass. Okay, let me give you it in terms of values. If you count this, I could give it a value. Let's say here, this is energy. Let's say this has 10 joules of energy. Okay, this conservation venture has to have 10, 10 joules as well. But look at the mass. The truck has more mass and the car has little mass. The This one, think about Newton's first law. To get it moving, right, the amount of energy it needs, the one half mv squared is going to be less. This one is also going to be one half mv squared, right? It's going to have more, okay? because its velocity is more, it's smaller, right? It's gonna go farther, all right? Part D. Now, in this case, if we were instead two identical toy cars traveling opposite direction at identical speeds, how would the momentum um, in the diagram would change? So here they're identical cars. So the masses here are going to be the same. So here, mass one is equal to, let's say, uh, one, and M two is equal to one, right? And velocities are the same, but just in opposites. So velocity could be five for M one, velocity two could be negative five, right? They're just in opposite direction, okay? Try to do this. And on the graph, it is the mass times velocity so the area here would be its momentum so the first one i'm going to use the color blue that's going to represent the first car it has a mass of one and the velocity is five which is positive one two three four five second car b one its mass its velocity is negative five so it's in the op it's in the negative direction Mass one, velocity is negative five. One, two, three, four, five. It's total. These together, it's flat. It's zero. All right. Now, what's the explanation? All right. Before the collision, the total momentum of the car of the car is zero, since the two cars um, of the system is zero. The two cars have the same mass, but the speeds are in opposite direction. Because there's no external force, the momentum after the collision must also be zero. So the cars will collide, then stop. They hit each other, stick together, boom. To uh, momentum would be zero. If you want to see how the math works out, let me show you. So if you look at the, I think I have the formula here, right? Yeah, right here. Perfect. The first one, this is, uh, let's say five, uh, one velocity was five plus mass. Second one is one velocity is negative five. This is five plus negative five. This automatically became zero. If this is zero. This other side has to be zero. It's mass is going to be one plus one. Well, the mass is still going to be two, but notice that the velocity here, okay, if if you were trying to think about what was the final velocity, this, no matter what, the fact that these two canceled out, okay, velocity final had to be zero, all right? But they're looking at its momentum. That makes sense. Final velocity was zero, so its momentum is going to be zero. Okay, they stop moving. All right, so there you go. Uh, that was 5e solution.